Hey guys, Coach Cindy here from Olive Training and I'm here to talk about a really big topic, getting to the bottom of your cravings. I want it. It's usually how it starts. And let's not overcomplicate things. If you're being completely honest, that's ultimately the reason that you end up giving in to your cravings and go back to old familiar eating habits. We just want it. We're tired, we're stressed, we're bored, we're lonely, and we knew that food, that decadent chocolate, that succulent cake, those greasy fries, that divine burger, or that extra glass of wine will feel good for a few minutes, plus we just want it. What's the harm? I'll start tomorrow. I deserve it. It all sounds way too familiar. From time to time, it's not a problem. What is a world without chocolate or cake anyways? But it can easily become a daily habit, one that we indulge in multiple times a day and over a course of a week. Obviously, it works against your weight loss goals. There's no denying that. And in the long haul, it can add to your um, disease risk of various diseases and conditions. But you know what else happens? Here's it. Every time you go against what you want for yourself, those important, possible, life-changing goals, you give away your power. You let that scared, worried, not worthy brain of yours take over. You reinforce those voices. They win over you. They control you and continue to resurface stronger and stronger and more frequently. Because let's face it, that chocolate isn't going to solve the feelings or the challenges you are currently confronting. In fact, you're going to want more and more of that chocolate as you continue to be hopeful that all your woes will be healed and solved by eating just one more piece. And it can easily feel like you're winning because of whatever reason we convince ourselves of. I'll start again on Monday. I deserve this. One won't hurt. But what is life without a treat or two or eight? I'm not on diet, so I can have this. I'm a grown ass woman and I have control over my food. I get it. When you're in the muck, it's hard to make the right choice. Our survival brain kicks in to overdrive and it takes over. That rational brain of yours moves over to the passenger side while all your survival brain hijacks the vehicle and goes full speed ahead. No matter how often that rational brain of yours pipes up, slow down. Think about this. Do you really want this? What about those goals? The voice gets quashed before the sentence is even finished. I'm a woman on a mission to survive. Shut the F up. In exchange for that momentary tasty treat in a brief numbing of that discomfort um, that you're feeling, because that's really what you're doing here, you're giving away the single most valuable thing you possess, your power, your ownness. That's a pretty crappy deal if you ask me. So every time you're preparing to eat, no, there can only be one driver steering the car. Which will you choose? Will you choose food to be your overlord or to claim your power and your onus back. I know that it's easier said than done when things get mucky, but things get even muckier and muckier when food continues to be in charge. It's time we think about that.